You're watching From Glory to Glory, Channel 343, TBN Africa. Well, greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We welcome you once again to our television program from glory to glory with me, Pastor Jacob Msipa from Butlane Christian Center in Delmas, Mpumalanga province. We are so excited that you could join us tonight and we trust that you are going to be blessed by our program and we trust and we pray that you are enjoying the festive season so far. Maybe some of you have already taken leaves and we pray that it will really bring times of refreshing in your life and in your family. Well, we just want to take some time and listen to some music before we start with the program. Last week we were so blessed by Bongi and Colin and even tonight we have another surprise um, for you, our dear viewer there at home. And we pray that you are going to be blessed by this program. Enjoy the song. God bless you. You're watching From Glory to Glory, Channel 343, TBN Africa. There's our gratitude song. Say, Jesus, thank you for all that you've done. Get it, 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 get it,
You're watching From Glory to Glory, Channel 343, TBN Africa. Wow, what a powerful song. I'm sure many of you are so excited you're on your feet right now because this song has become an anthem. We are singing it in churches. Uh, this song has been, you know, a blessing even beyond the borders of our country. And tonight, my dear viewer, we do have the man himself, Pastor Lunginda, we welcome you, man. Thank you for coming. We are so excited to Thank have you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You I'm know, excited to be here. Amen. We are so excited. You know, I know that the people at home are excited and are, are jumping on their feet because, you know, this song, you know, is a blessing to the body of Christ. Yes, sir. And congratulations and well yeah. done on your new album. Yeah. Uh, I believe it was launched on the 24th of November. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, take us through your, you know, the preparations <laughs> and the recording and the launch. We just want to hear all about it. Wow. Well, yeah. thank you so much. I'm actually honored to be on your program. Amen. Uh, from glory to glory. And uh, I really want to greet even all the viewers at home. And thank really, you so much. I um, appreciate this opportunity. Um, yeah, we've, we've just um, released my second album. Uh, titled Perfected Praise. Amen. And 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 I, I really want to just give God the glory for whatever has happened already because Amen. I think from the time we recorded this on the, the Lyric Theater yes. on the 31st of April, it was an incredible um, night of recording. Yes. Um, I've never seen people who couldn't sit and, and just kept on standing. Uh -huh. and, and, and bear in mind that we, we are actually singing new songs yes of course these were songs that no one has ever heard of course but, but. i was there myself <laughs> and we couldn't i mean sit down we were on our feet we were singing along that's amazing you know, it was our first time hearing the songs but we were that's singing amazing along. that's yes. amazing i think for me to see that happen um i was quite humbled and oh, wow. and i think even after the recording you could tell that god had done something during that that, yes. that recording because we started seeing churches now singing the Yo, songs from the yes, recording. Of course, yes. um, and, and the album was not out, there was no single out, but then everybody is starting to sing the songs. Yes, of course. And, and, and I think so far until this point where we are, I, I, I can only say to God be the glory. Amen. Yeah, because, because people have really taken the album, um, it is selling. Sure. Um, the songs, there's so many songs that people are now taking and making them their own. Yes. And I think for me that's ultimately what I wanted to see. Um, not only to record an album, but I think to record an album which people can take the songs and interpret them yes. according to their own way or understanding. So that's what has happened. Sure. That's wonderful, man. It's so exciting to, to see, you know, such a gift and you are a blessing, we must say wow. that, to the wow. body of Christ. I mean, literally after attending the recording, a church, you know, we're singing your, your yeah, song. actually, saw the, the video. Yes, we posted the video. Your church was the first church, <laughs> yes, a week later. The week later, I think you sang Sashia Gong. <laughs> yes, we sang Sashia yeah. Gong, and it, it is such a, a great song, man. Um, tell us who, who did you work with, um, on this album, you know, in terms yeah. of the producers and yeah. all that. Yeah, who did you work well, with? Well, I, I actually, I was so privileged to work with two of my friends. Um, that is Koli Tabete. Oh, wow, okay. um, great, great, phenomenal producer, sure. and, and an amazing arranger um songwriter as well and also i worked with job taco okay um from job audios oh, and wow. yes. and and he was the, my my producer for the first album oh yes and for this album then he brought in Koli to come in okay. and, and work on this album and job is also the one who's mixed and mastered this so well, he saw he the did process a great from, job he saw the, pro the process from from the beginning yes. until the end he literally saw the project happening so I think those are the two guys that I would first and foremost say I worked with yes. um, in conceptualizing and bouncing things with them. Okay. Um, I normally don't like um, making decisions on my own. So I'll yes. always call the guys and bounce off and say, are we on the right track? Is this fine? Is this not fine? Tell me when I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm singing wrong. Tell yes. me what I'm doing. Yes. So yes. they've li really helped me to actually grow in the music. Wow. And, and also I worked with a phenomenal group of, um, of, of musicians. Begum, Begum Turtle is there. Divine Michel is there. Wow. Peter Jamba is there. Wow. Spoon Goon is there. Wow. The vocalist, uh, Sissim Po, uh, Busi, um, Futi, Lebu, Tulani, sure. and Wanzi. These guys were amazing to work yes, with. Yes, and, yes. and I think you can tell by the production that, um, by the grace of God, I, I was blessed with a group of people yes. that really felt my heart. Yes, and, yes. and they could interpret what was in my heart. Oh, wow. You know, I, I normally tell people, and I, I say it all the time, I'm not the greatest of singers. Yes, yes. 
but there are people who know how to interpret what God has given me yes, yes, and bring yes. it to the fourth. And I think that's what I was blessed with even on this project. Sure, that's yeah. wonderful. And, and, and you, you've written your own songs. Yeah, yeah. I, th I, think, I, think, I think amazingly this new album, all the songs on the album are new songs. Oh, wow. Um, and, and I think that is only because I, I believe that God is also raising a generation of songwriters yes. um, and songs that we're not just writing songs, but we're writing songs that we, 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 we believe that God has deposited them in our hearts. Yes. And that is why it's even easy for people to interpret the songs and yes. receive them yes. when you're writing it from a position of God speaking or singing through you. Amen. You know, so Amen. I think yeah, for me, that's what has been a blessing to, to have an album for the first time, which is uh, in my life where yes. I, I, can, I can say 14 songs we've written and people are loving them. It's a blessing. And I'm sure my viewers at home can also agree that you know, from time to time, even as the Bible says that we need to sing unto the Lord a new song. Yes, you know? yes. Uh, we thank God for the hymns. We, yes. we thank God for the songs that have already been sung. And, yes. you know, they are, they are full of anointing yes. or whatever. But I think from time to time, we, yes. we do need musicians who are going to rise up and, yeah. and, 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 you know, and let their tongues be like the pen of the ready uh, writer. Yeah, like the definitely. Says, you know? <laughs> and like you're saying, um, Fundis, it's, yes. it's, we're not saying nothing wrong with the hymns. Yes. I think for me, it's, I, 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 am, I deliver best in what I do yes. when I can do my own song. Oh, yes. Yes. Because I have no point that. of reference. Oh, yes, of course. All right. so, 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 and there are other people who can do hymns very well. Mm -hmm. And th those hymns can minister to people. Yes. And if that is yes. their grace and their calling, let them do that. Of course. All right. But for me, I know that if I want to deliver something great, mm -hmm. I need to have written it and have no reference yes. of somebody else having done it. Yes. And, and I think that's what has enabled me to do what we're yeah. doing now. Maybe perhaps, just for interest's sake, if you can just take us through the process of how do you write a song? Do yeah. you... Um, refer to what is happening to your life yeah. at a particular point in time yeah. because I've seen and I've heard quite a number of your songs they yeah. are m more like a testimony yeah. you know there's a yeah. story behind it yeah. a story that you yeah. are that you are you are, you are telling yeah. just take us through that process of writing <laughs> a, a song <laughs> and I think that's that's well, it's a very good question because a lot of times I've had people maybe ask me to write them a song oh, yeah. and I struggle with I writing see. a song. Okay. Exactly what you said. I think most of my songs are testimonies. Oh, yes. Like a song like Kyalebo Okay. Uh, the way I wrote that song, and, 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 and I must say, I've got a very strange writing way, or way of writing, because I don't sit down with a pen and write. Sure. Uh, for me, one of the first things that God brings when I'm going to do a song, it's a melody. Oh, wow. Okay. I will always hear a melody. I write via melody first. Okay. So I'll get the melody first, and it happens when I'm driving. Sure. I'm sitting. Oh, wow. I could be anywhere. Oh, wow. The moment I hear a melody, I'll take my phone sure. and go over that melody. Oh, wow. and, and so when I thought about it, when I looked into my life and what God has already done prior to even this album, I looked and said, you know, um, from where I came from mm. and, and seeing what the Lord has blessed me with, sure. um, I think sometimes people never given me a chance. Yes. You see, um, I think there were more talented people where I grew up in the township where I grew up there. There were more people who had maybe better opportunities. Yes. But I looked into my life and I said, I'm probably the unlike, un unlikeliest person mm -hmm. to be where I am today. Yes. So yes. that yes. reflection on its own, mm -hmm. guess what it said in my heart? Kelly Oh, wow. So wow. Get anything so yes. so whole. Why? Yes. Because when I look back, I can tell that what you've done is so great. Yes. I wouldn't even my wildest dream yes. even thought I sure. could be Pastor Lungi. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes. and I saw, so that's how I write. I write from my experiences. Mm -hmm. um, I think many people remember the song Hankeke Kataba. Yes, of course. Uh, when I did Hankeke, Hankeke, I, so people like, oh, the song. Yes. But for me, at the, when I wrote that song, there was a time in my life where sure. I was fearful of the future. Oh, wow. I was fearful of what's going to happen to me. Yes, yes. You know, and guess what? The song came. And I will not you, be afraid. Yes. And, and so that's, I think that's what, how I write my songs. I, I would take my experiences. And I think. Because I'm not unique in my experiences, okay. guess what? It is then interpreted to another person in their situation. Of course. I was about to say that, to say, you know what? We thank God for the song, Kialebo Jesu, because when we listened to it, we, we ourselves, even though we did not write the song, yeah. but we could relate to it, we, we, we realized that we, we actually have a lot to be grateful wow. for. Wow. We have a lot to... 
you know, take to God and just say, you know what, God, we, we are so grateful. Yes. We are so thankful for everything that you have done for us. Yes. You know, I think it helped us to, to reflect yes. even on everything that has been wow. happening in our lives. And we, we thank God for that. I yeah. mean, I mean, it, it, it has become, a I think, a song of gratitude, as you always say, <laughs> yes. in the whole entire country and yeah. beyond. Yeah. You know, it's an expression of, of praise. And I just want to know, how does that feel that when we, <laughs> we as the people of God, Sure. We are using your song, we are using the lyrics that you have penned down yeah. to bring a, a song of praise and thanksgiving yeah. before God. I, I, think, I think it's also important, I think, let, let me start by saying, you know when we started doing the rehearsals and recording, yes. I wouldn't have thought this is what's going to be happening right now. Oh wow. I wouldn't have thought. And I think that's why every week I see videos, I see updates of people sure. talking about the song, Gale yes. you know. And, and I think uh, just recently I, I saw another video which really made me cry. Oh, yeah. Because I couldn't believe that these are, these are people in a different country sure. uh, singing the song which I wrote wow. and expressing it in the way that they can do it. Sure. Wow. And I looked at that and I, I couldn't believe it. And I, I just cried because I, I said, Lord, I did not even see this happening. Yes, yes, you see, yes. so, so I think it makes me, it, it, it makes me very humble. Sure. Uh, to realize that God is able to use anybody wherever they are, as long as you're willing and, and you allow God to flow through yes. your life. Um, so I, I'm, I'm excited at the same time, you know, because, because really I'm, I believe that's what the reward is of, for us who are psalmists as well, yes. who are singers, is that we want to release music that we, people can take and sing. Yeah. And I think that that brings joy in our hearts, that we can contribute even to the repertoires of yes. worship experiences yes. in churches. Wow. Uh, for me, I think that's what is important. Sure. That's awesome, man. And, and let me just perhaps also throw in another uh, question in there. I had a privilege of attending the gathering of worshippers at yeah. the dome, um, <laughs> where there were thousands of believers. Yeah. There, and out of nowhere, uh, Dr. Dumi decides to just, you know, sing your song and just call you up the stage to come and do the song. How was that like? You know, how, how did you feel when that happened? I'm, I'm telling you, I think just before I stepped onto that stage, just uh, backstage, I was shivering. Sure. I can imagine. I was scared. <laughs> I was shivering. I could tell my whole body was shivering. Sure. And I just want to actually honor him and yes. thank him, uh, yes. Dr. Dumi, for, for that opportunity. Yes. Um, and, and I think, you know, I've been mean, imagining all those thousands of people oh, hearing yes. their noise. And, yes. But yes. I think just as I stepped on, I couldn't believe it. Mm. I couldn't believe it. Sure. You know, that I'm, I'm, I'm right here, right now, at this moment, at the gathering of worshipers. Wow. And hearing everybody screaming and singing the singing song. Singing the song, yes. That on its own just yes. became like, wow. Sure. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't believe it. Sure. I, I just couldn't believe it. I can imagine, <laughs> man. I mean, I, I really had goosebumps there and I was, I was so asking, happy for you. I, I, mean, I was standing shivering. there looking at you. I was so wow. excited for you. I was wow. so happy for you. And wow. I was so proud of you wow. uh, for that matter. Wow. And, you know, I could, we could see, I mean, at that point we could tell that, you know what? Um, from that point, even the sky will not be the limit. Wow. You could see that, you know, God is definitely going to take you from glory to glory. Yeah, exactly. That song. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> now tell us, you are also a pastor you know, yes, of sir. a local church, yes, which sir. is very interesting for us, uh, <laughs> um, that you, you could do so well in the music industry and, and as well be a, be a pastor. Yeah. Um, for you as a, as a musician, how do you connect the two um, and, and how does that, you know, gel or blend together in your life? And yeah. because it comes out beautifully, wow. you know, sometimes I wish I could sing like <laughs> you do, <laughs> but unfortunately God did not grace me like that. And how does that work for you when you get to church? Do they expect you to be an artist like, the, you know? The funny part is at church, they don't even care. That I'm the artist. <laughs> they want to see their pastor. I mean, I can sing and they don't even have that kind of a look that people give me out there. Out there so, that's interesting. So, but I think, I think oh, it's important, I think, like what you're saying, um, there's two ministries and for me I think it's one thing um, okay. in that um, in the music I'm singing life and encouragement to people okay in the church I'm speaking it oh wow you know I like that so, that's, so, that's so I'm speaking life and encouragement still yes uh, it's just the platforms oh yes okay. that are different that's but uh, but the, the foundation of my calling does not change sure uh, because that's what I believe that God has called me to oh, speak wow. life to, to bring encouragement to people's lives sure. and I, I would do that in both platforms uh, the, the difference is only because with church, 
you then also deal a lot with day-to-day -day people's lives. Okay. And I think that's the role where, as a pastor, it's more demanding for me okay. to yes. not only just stand on the pulpit, but also to be um, available in the lives of our members in the church yes. and yes. minister to their individual lives. Sometimes sure. I can go into a show, like you said, the gathering of the worshippers. Yeah. I would have sung that, but I would not have had a one-on-one -on -one Oh, yes. Kind of oh, like ministry okay. with the yeah. people. Yeah. So church then changes that because then I have to have that one-on-one -on -one, um, sure. ministry with people. But on top of it all, I think, I, think, I think God has allowed me and given me the grace to be able to somehow find the balance in it. Sure. And, and how, what I mean by the balance is the balance is the fact that people don't see the group of people behind me. Sure. Uh, so sometimes you see church is functioning very well yes. and, and you think it's Pastor Lungi doing very well. Mm -hmm. But I think it's also because God has blessed me with people yes. in our church yeah. who leaders who are able to make things function even when I'm not around. Sure. And the same is with the music. I've got a team of people who are able to make things function even when I'm not around. You know, it's so um, refreshing to, yeah. to hear, you know, you're telling your side yeah. how you, you, you balance things yeah. out yeah. and really appreciating the leaders behind you who are working together with you just to make yeah. sure that even at the, at the, at the church front yeah, things are yeah. moving smoothly. True. Uh, because at the end of it all, um, we, we, without these teams, yeah. we, we, can't, we can't you know, we do can't. all of these things. And that I know that people doing. like to celebrate as well in the forefront. Oh, but yes. the truth is, yes. uh, what you are celebrating is actually made by the things that you don't see behind. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful, man. That's, that's, that's so much... Um, refreshing. I know this is an unfair question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. <laughs> Which one is your first love? <laughs> Pastoring or being a musician? <laughs> I know they are both ministry, but if you were to choose one. I think church. Um, I'm, I'm very passionate about church and I'm very passionate about seeing us grow, prevailing and thriving churches. I'm yes. very pa passionate about that. So I think church is, is, is really my first love. Sure, that's wonderful. And uh, knowing, you know, uh, I think it's not a hidden fact as well that you are a PK as well, yeah. uh, a pastor's kid. <laughs> yeah. um, um, I guess that's 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 why perhaps the the church is yeah, so much close to your heart. It's very it's very dear to me. The church yeah. is very dear. I've I've seen lives change, families restored. I've seen people really who were not given a chance and and really rise within the church. So I think I think the church is very important. And yeah. and and for me, I I would not trade anything that I do within the church for anything else. Sure. No, that's that's good to hear. But but how how has being a a PK influenced perhaps your your ministry, your calling, your view yeah. of the church and how you, you do things today? I think I think I was privileged that um, my father as well was very open um, mm. to share with me some of the things that happened within the church, even okay. from, a, from that young age. Um, yes. and, and, and I could have, and I think maybe having seen some of the things I, 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 I attempted, let me just qualify that, I attempted to stay away from church. <laughs> Like we all do. <laughs> but, but it didn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I always tell people that my funniest testimony is, I think my, my Damascus experience um, happened uh, when I was in a wrong place, uh, but there was the right moment. Oh, wow. um, and, and, and God just called me out of a club. Sure. And I left the club immediately. Sure. I left and I knew I'm, wow. not, I'm not for this. Sure. Nobody's preached. I was just in a club. Music was playing. Sure. I watched the people and something dropped in my spirit and said, this is not it. This is not you. And I literally, f I'm glad that I had a friend of mine who up to today, today still bears testimony of that. Oh, wow. That this guy on this day told me I'm walking out and I'm not coming back. Wow. And I did that. I and walked you out never looked back? Never looked back. Sure. Never went back? Never did anything? No. Man, we are so grateful for that moment because we wouldn't be blessed by your ministry the way that we are wow. if it wasn't for that day. So wow. we really thank God for nudging you and, and you know, putting that impression <laughs> in your spirit and kicked you out of that I'm club. telling you, I was kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> because like I always say, even myself, you know, I say if it wasn't for the fact that we responded to the call of God, yeah. either would end up dead or in jail or something, yeah. you know, because yeah. if, if you are not in total obedience, yeah. Uh, towards the voice of God, yeah. you know. In one way or the other, you'll be led astray true, true. and you'll end up in places where the covering protection of God is no longer yes, there. Yes. So we are really grateful to, to God. And, and if I may ask you, compared to your previous album, yeah. um, what are the significant differences perhaps um, in terms of the content? Yeah. You know, when, when we, I mean, we've listened and we've enjoyed Hankeke yeah. and and it has been a blessing to us. Yeah. But with this, 
um, latest rendition. To, I mean, what what are the significant differences that we can pick up from the two projects? I think I think that the sound has also matured a bit. Yes, um, okay. There's there's been a little, uh, uh, not even a little bit. There's been quite a, a big uh, difference in terms of the growth, um, in terms of my sound, and also the lyrical content as well okay. um, of, of each and every song. You can probably put a scripture uh -huh. to each and every song that I'm singing there. Yes. Um, and that's what I've, I've realized that that's what the difference is. And I, th I think also with the first album, which was my first um, in terms of getting into the industry, okay. um, I got to understand certain things in my first album, certain okay. lessons, certain okay. mistakes, which now on this album I've, I had to correct those okay. things. Um, well. And so, so I think I think now um, people are hearing a more confident, a more solid offering that I'm bringing out. Not that Agreed. in the first album we didn't do that, but yes. I think now there's quite a, a bit of a maturity as well. Agreed. And, and yeah. Yeah, that's wonderful, man. Uh, so tell the viewers more about your album. Where do they get it? <laughs> and how do they get hold of you? And how do they, if they want to have you at their church to come and sing, yeah. what do they, how do they uh, yeah. get hold of you? Well, um, um, the album is currently available at music stores nationwide. You can get to Musica and, and get yourself a copy of this album. It's called Pastor Lungindala, Perfected Praise. Um, I hope that you're going to be blessed and you can get in touch with me on my Facebook page. It's Pastor Lungindala on my Instagram page, Pastor Lungindala on Twitter. It is at PreacherBoy10 or you can use at Lungindala. Uh, and to get hold of me, it's quite easy to book me for your churches. Uh, you can send us an email on bookings at wowbrand.co.za bookings at wowbrand.co.za or you can call 082-442-8107. I'm sure they will assist you in getting me and I would love to come and add value to whatever event that you are having. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for coming through. My dear viewer, thank you for tuning in once again tonight and I'm sure you have enjoyed this program. We pray the blessing of the Lord over your life and we, we really are praying that God will bless you all throughout this festive season. And we pray that you may move from glory to glory. May God bless you. Meet you again next week, same time and same place. God bless you. As I